Hey guys, Aaron here with Double A Shaves, back for another one. Really excited for what we got today. Got a, recently got a new soap from Phoenix Artists and Acoustic Rinse in the mail, and that is Good Vibrations. Love the the label there with the, the old station wagon with the surfboard on top. Kind of reminds you of like a Beach Boys album cover or something. Of course, the cube there, always uh, on Doug's labels. I think on all of his soaps, he's got the cube there, which is kind of neat. Yeah, look at that too, Boardwalk Barbershop scent. And that is exactly what it smells like. I got a big, pretty big, uh, beautiful pour there, nice and pillowy and cloudy. I love, I love Phoenix's pours. You never know what you're gonna get when you open it up. I scooped out a little for the bowl there. But uh, yeah, they're, they're always fun to crack open and you know, just to see what they look like. Yeah, I got a pretty big sampler pack of PA aftershave colognes not too long ago. I love them all, you know, all the all PA scents are great, but yeah, Good Vibrations was one of the ones that really stood out to me. Right when I smelled it, I was like, oh my God, this is, this is just so beautiful and outstanding, this scent. Like, yeah, I have the notes right here. It's like, I think it's like, it's like a powdery barbershop scent, but it's got a beach twist to it. It's a lot of the notes in there kind of, you know, are great for summertime. And yeah, it, you know, kind of like what it says, it smells like a boardwalk barbershop. It's exactly what it smells like. Yeah, the description on the website is, I got it right here. You said it's the quintessential surfer barbershop scent. I agree. A truly masculine summertime barbershop style scent, the carefree and oh so sure scent of the 60s surf and shave scene, which he later says there wasn't one, but if there was, it would have been cool. <laughs> yeah, what do we got in here? Spring blossoms, sandalwood, mahogany, rosewood, vanilla, rosemary, lavender and amber talc, and oak moss. Yeah, so it's neat. So a lot of a lot of the notes in here are, you see them in a lot of different barbershop scents from, you know, all the other artisans. Like you got the, you got the sandalwood, you got the talc, which is like kind of gives it that powdery kind of feel. You got the oak moss, which is in most of the barbershop scents. The rosemary, you got a lot of the spices in there. But what makes this one special is the addition of all the the summary notes that it provides and kind of gives you that beachy feel the spring blossoms the the vanilla i think maybe maybe the rosewood and the lavender kind of give it that nice beach feel but man i tell you boardwalk barbershop scent that's exactly what it smells like it, it's you know it reminds me of uh getting a haircut and shave on the on the jersey boardwalk on the beach and I, and I tell you what too, like, like the memories that the scent brings up too, like just when I was a kid, we would always be going to, you know, New Jersey and Martha's Vineyard to go to the beach and man, the place this scent takes me to in my head is just like, it's great because I love barbershop scents, but I also love beach scents. So like, man, the two combined, it just, this is so perfect for me. It's like. This is going to be, I'm going to be wearing this all year round, but man, during the summer, like this, I think this might be my, at least one of my go-to summer scents, no question about it. Just absolutely fantastic, fantastic. And I did get the Aftershave Splash 2 here. Love that label so much. Yeah, his Aftershave bottles are really, really nice. Really nice. One of the best Aftershave bottles in the game, no question about it. Yeah, so the aftershave kind of, in my opinion, the aftershave smells a little better than the soap. I think the soap, which is the CK1, I think it still smells amazing, but I think in the background, I'm, I might be getting a little whiff of like the soap base along with the scent, which, you know, it's fine. It's not a huge deal, but yeah, where the scent really shines is in the aftershave. Oh man. Good vibrations, the scent is so good. So good. Yeah, summertime staple for me, no question about it. No question about it. Girlfriend loves it. She was blown away by this scent. Um, yeah, I got a couple 
I got a lot of Phoenix soaps. I got like three in CK6, I think four in CK1. And man, this, uh, as far as Phoenix scents go, I mean, this, this is really making it to the top of my list. This is just so good, so good. I love them all. And uh, yeah, good job, Doug, on good vibrations. This, I'm, I'm really pleased with this scent, so I really, really can't wait to rock this. I gotta go all, I gotta go all in on it too. I gotta get the, I gotta get the, all right, where do I start? Yeah, deodorant, bar soap, maybe the, maybe the EDP, you know, my pockets aren't very thick right now, so. <laughs> all right, so the razor today, it's my only razor actually, got my trusty Mercur 34C. Fresh Astra SP in there, the Astra Greens. It's it's the only blade I really use. I've tried other ones from sampler packs and nothing works as good as Astra. So yeah, the Mercur 34C with the Astra combo is, I've been, it's been my setup for a long time and it probably will be for a long time. Yeah, I know, I know the 34C is a mild razor, but you know, like when, back when my technique was bad, it's, like it wasn't very efficient. I was like, oh, it's not getting everything. But over time, like once my technique improved, the 34C, it, you know, like now it does a fantastic job, you know, even if I just do like, you know, even like in one pass, I can get a pretty good shape with this. So yeah, I think it, I think it all just comes down to technique. Um, I know a lot of people use the 34C as their first razor. Um, and it's good though, because it's not too aggressive. It's not gonna like really cut you up a lot. All right, got the lather all whipped up here, nice and hydrated in my black ship grooming bowl. And you know, hopefully I didn't put too much water in it this time. I think it should be fine. It's got a nice sheen to it. Got my Yaki synthetic here, the barber pole brush. Girlfriend got me this recently. Really into synthetic brushes, especially the Yaki's. Look at that huge big guy there too. It fits my whole cheek when it splays, so it's fantastic. There's benefits to small brushes. There's benefits to big brushes. I love them all. I need more. I only have two. This one and another Yaki, but I need to get more. All right, let's go ahead and wet the face here. Yeah, so again, this is, uh, this is CK1. You can kind of, the CK6 tubs, they're all white and they're bigger because they got another ounce of soap but yeah the ck ones always just say cook and butter on it um yeah i mean you know ck6 is their new formula obviously it's a little bit better lathers up easier but uh ck1 is still a great a great base so if you want to save like 10 bucks you know go for the ck1 bundle I always say in all my Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement videos. Um, yeah, if you want to save 10 bucks, just go for the CK1. You get an ounce less of soap and like, the base isn't as good as CK6, but it's still great. Yeah, I don't know, like I, I kind of, I kind of mix it up when I get CK6 and CK1. I don't really give it too much thought anymore because I like both bases. CK6 is clearly better. Um, you know, I guess with, with good vibrations, I just figured, uh, you know, I really love this scent and, you know, my, I have experience with both bases. So I don't know, I'll just, I'll get it in the in the CK1, and it's not a seasonal. Like he has this all year round, so I'm not worried about running out of it. Like some of the fall scents that I love, like Cider House Five and Atomic Pumpkin, I got in CK6 because they're not going to be around until next fall. So and I got the Clown Fruit in the CK6. So I think that's all it came in. I think Slater House 5 too was only came in CK6. 
I'm happy with it. You know. Yeah, you get another ounce of soap in the CK6, so. I mean, you can't, you can't go wrong with either of them. Yeah, CK6 is a lot, they're both pretty easy to lather. Um, God, I always got a ton of soap like forming over the nose there. <laughs> Nice cushion on here. Nice cushion. Yeah, as far as like ease of lathering, both are easy, but CK6 is clearly a lot easier. CK1 is a little more thirsty. Already cruising here. Already cruising. Yeah, this, uh, like I said, I've tried a lot of different blades. I got a sampler pack a while back with, like, you know, uh, Shark, Boshkod. I think the other Astros, like the blue ones. You know, and I just keep going back to the greens. The Astro Superior Platinum. Never looked back since, you know. And you can get uh, you can get a hundred of them on Amazon for like ten bucks. Like, oh my god, come on. Absolute steal. Yeah, I tell you what, like a lot of these shaving products. A lot of these shaving products are really cheap, but your money goes a long way. Like, you know, these Yaki brushes, like the last one I had, it was the only brush I had for like three years, the Yaki Mysterious Space. I think I got it in my medicine cabinet here. Yeah, nice guy with the glitter there too, real neat. Yeah, like this was the only brush I was rocking for like three years straight. and. It barely lost any of its bristles. It's still, I mean, it's a little messed up there in the middle, but 20 bucks, you know, like, yeah, not even. Like, I always say it's like the best 20 bucks I ever spent. Yeah, I guess the, for a bunch of reasons, I guess the animal hair ones are more expensive. Hey man, synthetics work for me. And you know what? If it works good for me, I'm not like too much in a rush to try, you know, all the different kinds of animal hairs and stuff. Might be cool to try at some point, but hey man, right now I'm happy with my synthetics. Yeah, I think Yaki's out of China. I think it's China, yeah. I thought it was Japan for a while, but kind of sounds more Japanese, doesn't it? Yeah, and you know, CK1, the post-shape slickness is, it's, you know, it's it's great. It's great. You know, it's comparable to a lot of other good, uh, CK6 has a little bit better of the slickness, but yeah, I think CK1 is, uh, comparable to like a lot of really great brands out there like I think it's just as slick as like Sterling sometimes I honestly think though like sometimes I honestly think like it really doesn't matter what soap you use like if you use enough product when you hydrate it good it can like they all have like pretty similar post shaped slickness At least that's what I've experienced, you know. I, I know I'm probably gonna, a lot of people who make soap, they're probably gonna not agree with that, but I get it, you know. It, it's just what, what I experienced, but. Hey, I still love having a bunch of different brands though, that's cool. 
It's cool to try out different soap bases. I love that sound there too. Like when the brush gets caked, it just kind of feel like that. I'm surprised it's not getting everywhere. I think. Uh... <laughs> there we go. I think with these, I think with this particular brush, it's really good at retaining all the soap in there because there's so many bristles. So yeah, it doesn't really get everywhere. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I don't have too much growth. So, when I have minimal growth, I just, I don't bother with across the grain. I just go with and against. When I have a lot of growth though, I'll put it in a cross pass. I mean, I tell you what though, if you're into barbershop scents and you haven't tried Good Vibrations, I really can't recommend it enough. Yeah, like I said, this is perfect for me because I love like the powdery barbershop vibe. And I'm also a sucker for beach scents. This is perfect. Yeah, Doug also said on his website for this soap on the at the bottom of the description, he said it. He said this this is one like you need to own, you know. And he doesn't say that for all his soaps. So, and I agree with him on this. He's right. I mean, this the scent is absolutely beautiful. go across in the mustache here. Yeah, I mean, nowadays, like, CK1 and CK6, like, I just get just as good shades as CK1. I guess it's nice to save a couple bucks. Say it's good enough. I'm gonna say it's good enough. It's not perfect. I mean, there's still, you know how it is. Like there's still a little, you know, you know those days where you're just like, you know, it's like 92% good. It's not a hundred. But you know what? That's. That's good enough for me. Feels good. Smells good. Good vibes, good vibes. <laughs> good vibrations. All right, let me get the paper towel here. Yeah, I never really do towel because whenever I used, used to use towel, like there'd be a bunch of little things all over it that I didn't want on my face. and. It kind of sticks to your face because I think the soap kind of has like a sticky thing going on to it from the residual stuff. All right, first use of splash. And like I said earlier, this I think the splash does smell a little bit better than the soap. Maybe it's because of something in the soap base. Summery, masculine, barbershop, beach. <laughs> What is there not to like? What is, like, man, I am so in love with this scent. All right, it does have the restrictor. So, there's, 
there's good and bad sides to the restrictor. I think the bad side is it really kind of, it's like barely coming out here. It really kind of takes a while for it to, to come out. You gotta like really shake it. But it's good because I've had some of this aftershaves where it didn't have the restrictor. Pour out like half the bottle. It's like, oh, yeah, I really learned my lesson with that. rock this one <laughs> on a cold day like this. This is going to be so perfect for the summer though. Yeah, like right now, if I was to name like my top summer scents, this would probably be like near the top of the list. Or number one, you know. I'm not sure if this has menthol in it. Oh, it does, okay. Thought I felt a little menthol in there. Yeah, I guess in the summer it's good when you need to like cool down. I like the menthol. I like this one because there's not too much menthol in the soaps with, or in the splashes with a lot of menthol. It can kind of make your eyes water and it's not very pleasant. Oh, beautiful shade as usual with Phoenix Argus and Accoutrements. Beautiful CK1 shave, you know. Yeah, CK1, CK6, to me nowadays, it really doesn't make a difference. I get great shaves with both. Um, if you're particular though, yeah, I think CK6 is usually, it's like the better deal because you get another ounce of soap and a better, a slightly better soap that's easier to lather and has a slightly better base, so. Thank you guys again for watching one of my shaves here. If, you, if you're into barbershop scents and summer scents and you haven't picked up good vibrations yet, I, I can't recommend it enough. Doug did such a good job with this. Thank you, Doug. Um, yeah, this is gonna be one of my go-tos from now on. This is just fantastic. Wonderful label there too. Yeah, I wanna thank you guys for taking the time to watch my videos and subscribing and all the support in the comments it really means a lot to me so um thank you again and what's today today is monday so i really hope you guys have a good rest of your week and i will see you very soon take care and keep on shaving on